We're going to show you how to use Autodesk Inventor to design the wheels for your F1 car. We'll begin on the Get Started tab by clicking on New and opening a new page. When the New Page dialog box opens, click on Metric and make sure you're working in standard millimetres, then click on Create and that'll bring up your drawing page. Begin your drawing by clicking on Start 2D Sketch. That'll bring up your planes, and it's best to choose the XY plane. To begin creating a wheel, the first thing you need is a circle. So click on the circle icon on your toolbar, and if you take your cursor to the center point where your X and Y axes intersect, you should see the dot turn green. Then, if you move your mouse, you can enter a dimension for your circle, which is 24 millimeters. If you enter an incorrect size or you want to change it, all you need to do is click on Dimension on your toolbar, click on the number on the diameter of your circle, and a box will appear into which you can input the new dimension you want to change to. Just as an example, we'll put in 25 millimeters. Then you click on the green tick, and that'll change the circle to that size. So now you need to finish by clicking on the green tick on your toolbar. The next job is to extrude your circle so that it looks more like a wheel. So click on the extrude icon on your toolbar and we're going to extrude the circle to a depth of 14 millimeters. So put that figure into the dimension box on your screen and click on the green tick. Next the wheel needs to be hollowed out. So click on the shell icon on your toolbar then click on the front face of your cylinder and you'll then have a dimension box into which you can put the thickness you want the wheel to be when it's hollowed out. So put in two millimeters. We're going to be using 3D printers to make the actual wheel and they struggle with anything less than two millimeters so make sure not to put in anything smaller. So you should now have a shelled out wheel. If you hold down the wheel on your mouse and your shift button you'll see you can turn your drawing around and look at the design you've created like this. Now you need to make a hub inside your wheel. So you next need to click on the inside front face of the wheel and it'll give you the option to create another sketch on your existing one. You need to draw a second circle before extruding that. So follow exactly the same procedure as before. Click on the center point and make your circle 8 millimeters. Finish your sketch then click on Extrude and extrude your new circle out by 10 millimeters and click on the green tick. Now if you press down the wheel on the mouse again and press Shift, you can move your drawing around until you see the back of the wheel. Click on the back face and again create another sketch. Draw another circle and this time make it 3.3 millimeters which is the standard size of the axle we have to use to attach the wheels onto the Formula One cars. Finish the sketch and extrude the new circle, but this time it has to be a hole. So choose the second option down in your extrude dialog box, which is cutaway, and that'll create a hole of the right size in your wheel hub for the axle. Extrude the hole by eight millimeters, and that'll ensure that it doesn't come through the front face of the wheel hub. Click on the green tick to confirm that. So now if you turn the wheel around with your mouse wheel and shift button, you should be able to see that you've got a complete wheel. The next job is to color in your wheel so that it looks more like the real thing. First of all, go to Generic, which is along the top of your Autodesk Inventor taskbar, and on the drop-down menu, select PC ABS Plastic, because that's the material you'll be using for your wheel. Next, select the drop-down menu for colors. Now normally, you'd expect the color for the wheel to be black, but if you do choose black from this menu, then you can't see the features of the wheel very well on your drawing. I can show you here, you see it's very, very hard to make out the wheel hub and the axle hole. So it's probably better to choose gunmetal, so that you can make out the features of the wheel a little better. So I'll show you that now, and you can see that once it's selected, it does allow you to see the various aspects of the wheel a little more clearly. What you need to do now is save your wheel. So click on the orange Autodesk Inventor icon and select Save As, and name the part, which of course is Wheel, and finally save it. And you'll then have a completed Formula One car wheel.